Welcome to Frontend Topics. Today we are going to continue with render props. So let's start. Okay, so last time we saw how to create a Tuggle component using a render prop. So for using this uh, pattern, we have two main parts. One is the consumer and then the logic that we want to share all over our project. So let's see the Tuggle component. So we have two uh, main parts. One is the one function that we want to share. And with this function, we can change the Tuggle state. And then of course we have the render. And in the render, we say, take from your properties, the render prop, which is a function and call it with the Tuggle state and sh also share with it the Tuggle function. So in this way, it's going to be possible to change the state of the Tuggle prop. And then we have the consumer, which is passing to the Tuggle component a render property, which is using a function where we have access to the Tuggle, Tuggle property from the Tuggle and the on Tuggle function to change the Tuggle state. And yeah, we do that on the button on click where we use the on toggle function and then depending on some logic that we want we hide or show the toggle string and we can see here that it's working toggle toggle yes what we can do now is a little refactor to make this pattern even more clear so any component receive of course these named properties like render and we can also say something like text this is a text for example but every component also receive a children prop and for getting access to it what we can just need to do is something like this we open and close the tool component and anything that it's going to be here it's going to be part of the children so in this case we can say okay this is the children yes and then let's use it from the toggle component so for now we can remove this children yes And over here, we see, we can see that the uh, it's rendering the children. So what if instead of using a name property, we just use the children? Yes, we can do it. So we remove this from here, and we move it to the children. We can also, of course, remove the render and let's see what happened okay so we need to refactor the toggle so we are not using this name render uh, property anymore but we are using the children which is a function now so if you see here the children now is our render prop function so let's see if this is still working Yes, it is still working. And if you check the code over here, it's much more clear. And we can also turn this into a narrow function. So we remove that keyword. Then we can also remove this and this. Yeah, and I think it should work. Let's try it out. Yes, it is still working. Nice. So to wrap up this example, uh, we saw that we don't need to use named properties as render props. We can also we can always use the children as our render prop. Of course, if we you have multiple render properties, I think it's it's going to be more clear 
to just give them a name like uh, I don't know like render header equals the function render I don't know body in case you have a layout for example but if you just need one render prop I think using the children is the best option okay and that was it for today remember to subscribe to the channel if you are finding these videos useful for you um, please if you have any doubt just comment down yes and um, see you in the next front-end topic bye